Just made it to the train station in Toledo. In the summer of 2019, I took my four little boys to Europe. We did a bunch of different places, but here is the Toledo video. We adored Toledo, and there are so many cool things to do though with your kids, so I hope you enjoy this video. There's a playlist to all my other European videos with the boys traveling alone, so if you wanna figure out how you as a mom or a single dad can travel Europe with your kids alone, you can do it. And here's how I do it. So one of the hardest things about traveling in Valencia so far has been that the cabs won't pick us up, and they don't have Uber. And the reason the cab won't pick us up is because we're five people. And so hailing a cab large enough for when we're moving with our luggage and setting it up and trying to arrange it has been difficult. So I actually called a cab service last night but then also set up Cabify, which they do have here, which is like Uber. And so I'm hoping that cab, the thigh that we set up is almost here. Because if not, it's only half a mile to the train station, but it's a tough walk with the boys. Yay, the van arrived. Boys, I'm so proud of you. You move all this luggage. We're gonna find you a bathroom. You guys ready to go up to the old town? So only people who live in Toledo, in the city center, can drive their cars in or taxis. So if you won't come, you can take a taxi in or if you know somebody who lives here, they can pick you up or you can walk into the city and they have a covered escalator that will take you up because it is hot here you guys this apartment is so much better than i even thought like it is amazing and the people who own it are incredible hosts first off it's this like great stairwell and then you come in and the whole house is wrapped around a courtyard an internal courtyard so it wraps around as a circle so first you have this half bath then you come into the main living room they have Wi-Fi and Netflix a lot of our other places have not had Netflix of course they've had Wi-Fi but no Netflix so that is huge um it's got a lot of like special charming features in it I'm hoping my children don't break anything this is the main bedroom with the main bathroom the bathrooms are really big, a full shower and bathtub, There's another shower over here, and then a big bed. And look at, it's called a mirador to look out at the plaza that we're on. This awesome? Look at these details. It's just, ah, it's just so quaint cupboards then we go down a few steps into the next bedroom so Emmett or Miles and Stuart I think are going to share this room then do a hallway another full bath then Emmett and Turner's bedroom another double bed and then you can see we just like wrap around so here's the interior courtyard where all the windows and doors can be opened out to it. And then we walk through and we come to the kitchen, which is really big. It has a washer, it has the full refrigerator. And look at, they left us drinks and waters. This is the first place on this whole trip where they've like given us like a lot of snacks, chips, but it's a great kitchen for Europe for sure I mean huge the other thing that I thought was really great is that we have a medicine cabinet which if you've been watching me in Instagram stories you know that we constantly need just set up of all the soaps and laundry detergents and vacuuming and just everything that you could need and then basically you're back at the front door so isn't this place just like super cool? I can't wait to go see Toledo. We're gonna go get lunch. This is so cool in Toledo, but of course, cars, it's tight. There are no sidewalks. They get into like doorways. Get off me. Okay, walk. We are at the El Greco Museum, and right now we're in the cellars area. They didn't have an audio guide, so I don't know if I missed it or if we pick it up in a minute, but 
But it, this place is pretty cool, huh? What does the cocina look like? Oh. Oh, it's like I was gonna say, what kitchen do you cook on that looks like this? None. Look at all the beautiful None. pottery. And, I know, and then look, they had the gardens outside, so they could what? Bring the food straight from the garden into the kitchen. Perfect. What did you guys find? Some grapes? Yum. So as we were walking around Toledo, we stumbled across this place called I think it's Hotel or Casa de Cardinal. It's a hotel and a dinner location. It's probably way too nice for me and the boys, but we're gonna eat here anyways because it looks so beautiful and the atmosphere is just like exactly what you would think of as like an ancient eating place. Oh, the soup is good. And look at that fresh salad and these vegetables. Oh, Stuart, is this gonna be a yummy dinner? Ooh, that looks yummy. There's some special steak and our roasted pig. Are you excited for the pig? Oh, just wait, let's go. So, which postray do you like better? The almond chocolate cake. The marzipan one? Yeah. Wait, what's the marzipan one? That one. You, you only tried this one. Stop. We gotta wait for Turner. Mommy said, I see Turner. Yeah, we gotta wait and hold some for Turner. Okay, guys, let's walk home. Stuart, you're gonna walk home barefoot? So all around Toledo are obviously lots of tourist gift kinds of shops and here is one all about embroidery and all of these are done by hand and the boys really want this sumo pillow. Our dog. <laughs> I don't know where that would go boys. Miles just got a sword. We compromised on the smallest metal sword we could find. And then Stuart got a big wooden sword with a holder, which is awesome. Mommy, this is Whoa. Jote. He has a funky Yes, he does. Yes, he does, Stuart. It's pretty here. And the sun is setting, so it's nice and cool. I know that during the wars, there was tons of blood that rushed down that. Yes. I think it got like the nickname like Stairway of Blood or Doorway of Blood. On to the next adventure. On to our next adventure. This is definitely not ADA approved in any fashion. It's kind of amazing. Muchas gracias. Uh, yeah. <laughs> A Lego set at a museum? Absolutely not. Up on Amazon. No, no, but let's get like big sets of them. Okay, let's look them up on Amazon. It's pretty impressive. Okay, finally we got to the center of the Alcazar. This place is a maze. Like the way they've set this museum up doesn't make any sense. It is so confusing. You cannot, it's like a huge maze. It's a huge maze, it's hard, but we've made it. You can run all the way around, but I'm not going to be it, thank you. Okay, so today my goal is to film only on my little small Osmo Pocket from DJI and see how everything turns out. It does great footage for smoothness. We'll just we'll just use it all day. And I mean, gosh, if it does everything good and I feel like I can make a whole video with it, then this will be the only thing I'll take with me from now on. Okay, we're gonna be downstairs, Turner. It's so smooth, right? My hardest thing is knowing if I'm in frame because its head likes to like shift. Good job, Turner. Let's go. What are you doing? I'm here to fight. 
or get churros. Yeah. Let's go get churros. And my name is Captain Hawk. Churros and then the grocery store. Let's go. The churro guy told me he would open at 10. He's still not open. All right, let's go to the, let's go to the grocery store. All right, I'm gonna show you how long it takes from our apartment, or our little house piso thing, to walk to the grocery store. Okay, we made it. It's just around a few corners, but it's fun because the boys can run down here. Okay, let's get fresh fruits first. Stuart. Stuart, I'm sorry. Okay, what do we need? Bell pepper and red onion. And what are you remembering? Tomato and garlic. A Romo. Roma tomato. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that chorizo. And we'll get steak, okay? We'll get some steak. Si, cuatro. Que es mejor, filete? Esta? Okay, esta. Can you move? I'm trying to film mommy. So the people in that grocery store were super kind to me and let me take my time and order things. And it was crazy cheap. It was like seven euros for all those vegetables and fruits and then 13 euros for all the meat we got and 12 euros for like all the incidentals we got in the grocery store. So it's really cheap. And now we're gonna walk home with all of our groceries. I wish that I had one of those little carts that ladies have here, but it's not worth buying since we're only here for a week. All right, time to go into the bread shop that's just around the corner from our house. Mmm. Me gustaría un, una baguette y cuatro croissants de chocolate. All right, so I wanted to show you what my plan is and what we picked up at the grocery store. So we got some steak and some chorizo, so we're going to make that up. We got some bread. The boys haven't really had breakfast yet, so they're going to have these while we cook. We got baguette, we got things to make the gazpacho. We got stuff to make tortilla española. The boys love these puddings, so they we got more of them. Eggs, watermelon, and then we got some spices and some sherry vinegar, and the boys needed barbecue sauce for the steak. All right, so we're gonna cook today. Okay, so now we've cut up all of our vegetables and we've cut up our day old bread and taken the crust off of it so we just have the inside. And they don't have a blender here but they have one of those emulsion blenders so we're gonna see how to do this. All right, so I've been blending this for, I don't know, five minutes maybe. I haven't added the bread yet because I wanted to get enough liquid going. And I mean, it's working, but I don't know if I'm gonna have to put it through a sieve because it's still too chunky and it should be super smooth. All right, so I think this is the best I can do with this emulsion blender. It's pretty tough, but it tastes okay. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for the four hours and we'll go to like a museum right now. And then when we come back, we'll have some soup and some steak. Are you ready to go outside? Ooh, that's a bit nervous. Okay. Stuart, come. You need to hold my hand. Everybody be careful. It's not funny. Sir, only in Europe can you do these kinds of things. It's kind of amazing and scary at the same time. We're at the park below the Alcazar, 
and then it's like right on the edge of the river that runs around Toledo and we just did some shopping I just got two new dresses and we got ice cream and now the boys are playing you gonna go play yeah that's done done here are the two dresses that I just got I got this orange one I love that they both have pockets pockets are just so critical for me and this one I love its neckline and the material that they use to make it because it is so hot here so I mean although it's really a really nice day today that's a super fun swing huh and we get to drive it So the thing that was awesome is that there were a bunch of Koreans on our train with us. It's not really a train, it's like a car that looks like a train. And they took our picture, but she took like 10. And she got them from like every angle, so it was like awesome. Mm. Do you guys see how he's doing it? How he's doing the work? He puts the threads in, just watch, and then he hits them in. Just go closer. Okay, here's the salad. We're gonna eat in the dining room. The gazpacho is pretty thick, unfortunately. It's hard without like a real blender food processor, but we did tortilla espanola, some chorizo on top of bread, some patata bravas. And my soup. And Miles ceviche, or ceviche gazpacho. Oh, I thought and that then, No, and then after this, I'll make the steak, okay? And the chorizo. Okay, so I didn't end up grilling up chorizo. We just did the steaks, which was pretty hard because the stove doesn't get very hot, so I wasn't able to get a very good sear. But it's still steak. Are you guys excited for some meat? And you get barbecue sauce. No, we've never been in this cathedral yet. I've been saving it for today. Wow, you guys, this is beautiful. Okay, let's look at the interior courtyards in there and the upper decks. Do you guys see how they have like patios up there? It's so beautiful, huh? Please don't yell at each other. We're going into church. They're doing a church service in there. And then over here is where you go for the holy water. So I'm not exactly sure if we just pick up the jugs and drink it, but I guess that's what we're going to do. And it looks like the jugs are being filled from these spigots. And I'm not sure where they're coming from, but it's supposedly holy water. <laughs> Who wants to go next? Me. Hey, Stuart. It's a drinking fountain. No story in the way. <laughs> Dang it, you got the drive. <laughs> What do you guys think? Good. Do you want a churro? Okay, let's go get churros. You guys, look at this organ. That is the craziest organ I've ever seen. We're supposed to come up here. Because oh. you say so? Well, these are pretty. We are in La Iglesia del Salvador and it has and it has these old Moorish arches.
No, Stuart. Stuart, don't break it. It's old. Stuart, go. Carry it. Give me your watermelon back. Okay, go. As long as you've got your sword. Stop. Go. No. Okay, ready? Miles went up there without us, apparently. It's the oh, it's there. Whoa. It keeps on going all the way up there. Okay. It keeps vanishing to stairs and stairs. Stairs and stairs. Keep going. I don't think I'm going to go anymore. You can do it. Okay. Whoa. Was it worth it? I wish there was a slide down. Yeah. Salvador. Salvador. The base of this church is the found um, is a foundation by Romans back when um, Jesus was on earth, which is super old. And there used to be a mosque below it. And the tower we climbed was originally the old mosque tower. Did you think it was cool? It was uh, super cool.